Hey everyone, can you hear me? Yes, Mushi. Awesome. Welcome. How are you, Sinivas? Good, good. How are you? Excellent. Thank you. Okay, let me go share my desktop. We'll go ahead and get started. You see my desktop? Not yet. Yeah, we can see. Well, welcome everyone. Let's go ahead and get started. Hello. It's nine o'clock, a little bit over, over nine o'clock. So let's see what do we see, SPY. SPY is the indicator tells us, you know, standard poor. Standard Poor 500, it tells us what might, what may happen, what might be, there will be a, another gentleman is gonna go over a little bit more details. So all I just wanted to show those who is new, just see using, using this indicator tells us in what happened last three weeks, four weeks. At some point, some of the indicator, you can look at it, it was up last two weeks, it down, but last week, whole week overall, this is green, meaning it, it turned around in, in a weekly, if you look at now and daily, what you're looking at the chart here at the bottom, it shows your time. On the right is time date. But if I try to zoom it a little bit, go longer. Come on, come on. You see, it tells you that in the last two week, after Monday, slowly, slowly it came back up. So, which is a good sign that this coming week it might uh, say it might be the market is coming back back up. Let's see, you know what we see. So today, so I know that we will have some new guests. I know I, have, I see that there is some new new guest. If, if, welcome to our team. If you are, if you want to introduce yourself, your name or the state you you join for, you can chat line. That will be great. Also, you know, we'll go ahead and move on. So what do we do? We we usually share with you some facts and some of the truth. What market happens at the end? You know, we are. Uh, we act based on our understanding, knowledge of the market for short term or long term. I am Mushi Buyan. I am the founder of this nonprofit organization, Urban Food Alliance. You are welcome to visit that. And Urban Food is one of our educational program to support our charity. So everything I'm going to be sharing is all educational purpose only. And I have a team who is going to also be supporting me throughout uh, the next few minutes. Uh, everything we are sharing is all educational purpose only. As an investor, you do your own due diligence and make sure do not put money if you cannot risk of losing it. So the way we set up for tonight's session is going to be four different blocks. First, we're going to talk about some market and give you some market um, economy, what's happening outside that stock chart, but that influence the what might happen to the market at least that's a, that in news events is going to get you thinking uh, and then we're going to go to the stocks on the stock side you know we'll share with you some of the tickers you know we are looking at at the same time we'll share with you some some tickers you're looking at and what may happen and if anybody wants us to review any technical chart please ch type in in the chat line and what ticker you want to ask review, we'll go ahead and, and share with you what do we see it might happen this coming week. Then today we are I'm excited to have a, a partner and then the Prabhakar, you know, he's going to be going over future and we will be starting also talking about future. And then uh, at the end, we're going to closing out with a crypto market. If anybody is thinking crypto or just want to know, so our goal is moving forward, try to cover all these four, four sectors. Let's see how we are doing. So market economy. As far as the market that uh, some of you may already heard about uh, that last week, the Powell already shared what's their plan for tapering. So when he said tapering that my, since last year, Corona started that uh, the Fed is keep, keep buying bonds and equity. So at some point they need to start stopping it. So let the market grow by itself. So, so, so last week they 
shared their plan. Their plan is end of November, they are going to have a more concrete plan that how they are stopping, how are, how are they going to be stopped so doing a tapering, Fed is going to, not going to be pumping money in, in the market. And then next June, coming 2022 June, they, they are talking about completely getting out of the whole tapering and just letting the market grow by itself and the economy grow itself. So this is the news that market was looking for for a long time and I have Fed agree with it, you know, what's happening and then let's not pump more money in the market. And, and then uh, as Powell shared his uh, view and that all, their, the whole country, what, uh, which direction is going, that gave more confidence to the market that, the, hey, you know, we know that inflation is going to go higher, hence tapering also going to slow, slow down. So markets slowly, slowly, you know, bouncing back. And the other thing that last week happened, those who saw that there's a big green at the beginning I shared, big, you know, big red on Monday, last week Monday, because of Evergrande news. In Evergrande news is, is what it is, those who remember what happened to our market in 2008, that when market went down, there are some business went out of the business. Lehman Brothers is investment banking, one of the company, that you know, some of the practice they have done is not the best thing, best for the market. And the, the people lost a lot of money. So government wanted to make a statement that they were not jumping in, just saving the company, they do the bad practice. So in China, same thing happening, Evergrande is a real estate, one of the biggest real estate company in, in China. And that's, kind of they are not able to pay off the debts and the, the prices and the delivery and uh, of newer construction is slowing down people put a lot of money to get the houses and if you know anyone from china that there are certain restrictions that you have to go through it takes years years to be to be qualified to buy a house or or, or be in the pipeline so those people, they already put their life savings in this case, Evergrande and Evergrande is not able to deliver and they're having financial, huge financial crisis to keep going. Because of that, that, you know, that caused fear in China market, is this, kind of, is this like 2008 version of USA, China happening, happening in real estate. So that's why market whole global uh, stock market in, in USA and all around the country, world that got affected thinking that China is the second biggest economy in the world. And hence, you got to know that it might affect our market also here. So GDP growth and so on. So, so for those investors still try to learn and understand what happened, why market went down because of that huge, huge uh, news came out. Then uh, the the opportunities in, in uh, actually, um, I'm going, going to have go with uh, Janet. Janet is is uh, Janet Yellen and Powell is Jerome Powell is going to be meeting in in DC this coming week. So I know that tomorrow, whatever happens, market you know you will hear from the future and then and, and Prabhakar is going to be share with you later on on Tuesday. And Thursday, those two days, then they have to sit, uh, they have to interview or they're questioned in, in, with the Senate um, committee and so on. So regarding what's happened, happening current GDP, what's happening current inflation, what's happening in, in housing market and, and consumer market and manufacturers, all those statistics there is coming out. Are we on track of inflation or not? This is just a check and balance. So. Regardless what they say, how, what type of question ask, but know that be aware of it and we'll share in our group when that, those events happen. And if market is doing some kind of a fluctuation because of that on Tuesday and, and Thursday, understand that. The other thing that those who is thinking to see if there is the best way to put, where is the money you can put on? Around the world, everyone is looking for this green energy, green uh, green bond and ESG bond, uh, bond like you know the EV market and, and uh, also 
the climate, you know, things happening. If you are looking to understand why the growth area, please try to understand some of this green bond is fixed income and the other one equity is stock. So bond side, if you wanna go a little bit safe, there are some good bond out there also, you can look for it. And then there are some stocks that you, know, you can look for it. But in that direction, one of the thing of what government is doing that encouraging business take the loan, this 20 years, 30 years of bond, take the loan to invest in, in a business where they can support this climate issue or the environment issue and those issues happening to, to bring out more innovators in, in, in the business. So you might see if somebody is looking to see, you know, where do, do I go put my money, let's say in, in Tesla or GM or Ford, you know, they are, they announced that they are going to be stopping, stop creating current vehicle and going to introduce EV. And, and at some point, 2030, no more gasoline car is going to be happening. It has to be moving to uh, the green energy. But in, the, in that regard, you know, one of the com company look for Toyota, watch Toyota. What they are saying that Toyota, the way they took the money in the bond, in the green bond, the government put some kind of penalty. They cannot meet some of those, the metrics they promised to the government. If they can not deliver, then their bond price is going to go higher. Otherwise they are going to be losing the value of the bond, the coupon rate and so on and so. So that means the, what they are saying, some of the analysts is saying that they are saying that Toyota, Toyota is doing utilizing that bond much better than comparing some others. But again, I'm not saying that you know the uh, Toyota is the best EV company. Learn learn about that. Okay. Lastly, that uh, on, on the economy side, you should uh, look into area that was happening in Europe this coming week because that's going to be affecting that our market on, on Thursday, that a German election is happening and depending on who comes in or not, just that's, that's something to keep an eye on. And then UK Farlog, um, the ending, those who is in all the, who took the leave our, leave our absence during that COVID and then now some of those workforce is coming back now and that ending in, in September 30th. So that might affect also like some UK market, but in, it's, it's not like too big deal for us, but sometimes when we see that all of a sudden it's stock kick up because of some of the events or more news might happen, just be, be aware of it, okay? Ne next, we are, this concludes like our economic event, moving to stock and options. On the stock side, as I mentioned earlier, that look at on the right side, what, what do we have S&P. S&P last two week, you see that Monday, Tuesday, you know, it, it came down. But after that on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you see that it, it kind of stayed this line. That means it was good that it's ready to come back up. So here on the right side, on the left side, you see that 441 is the pivot point. Those who's looking at SPY, that the ticker, that watch this one, if it is stay, Above 441, you're going to see 445 and then, then, then 449 next. It can come back at all time high, but we be careful on that one. But on the downside also, what I, I put 430, you see the 430 or it can come down again on uh, below what happened. But overall, so far market looks like that is this, this week might bounce back from last week and it can go higher because of the, some of the settlement has happened so far. So, uh, and uh, option side, if those who is looking for options weekly, you can look for 446, 449 weekly call, or on the downside, if you want to, if you are bearish or you want to do selling call or something, you can look for this 437, 432 area, okay? Next, moving on, and, and um, the Prabhakar is going to go more further when he's, he's talking about futures. Moving on is stock that I trade, you, and some of you already know that this is one of my favorite companies that I, I play with, but this is, please be understand, this is very expensive to play with, and not everybody can afford doing it, but at the same time, it's risky, very risky. If you look at Amazon last week, you see it, it came down here around 3350, 
but you know, it's, it's coming back up around 34, 30, and it did not touch 3,500 areas. But this coming week, you know, you, the number you're going to supposed to see 3,429. If it can stay above 3,429, that's the pivot point here. You can see that's marked on, on, on this color, blue color. If it can stay above that, it is it's going to go higher. You can see then it can go 3,472. And finally, you know, it can go 3,500 and above. If not, it can go back to again below 3,400. This is the 3,395 is the one support for the downside. So overall, this coming week is Amazon looks like bullish. If that and then downtrend is, is seems like it, it 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 held a strong at this price. It did not go below 3350. If you play options, this option side that you can consider 3480 to 3550 call side in that range, but know that this is very expensive. Whatever amount you make it, if you are upside, to just know your target 20%, 30% on the weekly, or you can also go in two weeks ahead. That's going to even cost you more money to play on those side, or you can do some iron condor. Also, and it's, it's going to work on this. Other strategies that you're familiar with, put side, same thing. Um, this company, Ironnet, Ironnet is, is a, a company, it is, is, is came out IPO not too long ago, but it's a, if you are not familiar with it, try to learn this. You know, currently what's happening in, in technology, that cybersecurity and this, this is a cybersecurity company, and it has a huge prospect. You can see that it, when it came IPO and, and it touched 47, now it pulled back 27, now it's coming back up. It's very volatile. By looking at it, you see the very volatile, but it has a higher growth that if you like it, you might you might want to you know, keep an eye on this one. So this is something that I am planning on as I've, I've been watching it. I was, I'm in it. So this week I will be looking to get in around the, this price area on option side. Okay. That's I have for on our, our stock side. And I want to have a, Features, Prabhakar, are you with us? Yes, Mushi. Okay. Now, now Prabhakar is going to share with you the the, the features and what he sees, how the feature looks like, and his analysis. And I see that you know we have um, a couple others and Abdul and others here. Welcome to share. After that, if Abdul, you wanna chime in few for a few minutes, go ahead, Prabhakar. Mm, yes. Mm. Let me show you uh, how the features screen looks like. Uh, are you able to see my screen? Yes. Uh, it is showing some large cap sector report. Okay. So the features is always I go like this, a bar chart website. Okay. Then I will give, okay. And I will always use the cheat sheet to find out the levels for the features. I will go here and I will click features market overview. This is a free website. Everybody has access to that. Okay, you can simply go to the features today. What is happening with this is the list. Let me zoom it for you to visible. It is clear. You see this, this is the current December contract. Every future expires quarterly once. So the December and uh, what is the next expiry is March. Okay, you can trade a future up to two to three years. I will show you what uh, how it is looking like. So this is the thing, Karsim. I hope you are already familiar with this. I am using this indicator. This is a very powerful indicator uh, given by Mushi. <laughs> uh, shared he shared to me. Okay, um, then. Okay, we will go on features for every point. We will get $50, $50 difference, okay? See, any time you see that features are greater than 10 points, that means bulls are in charge for that day. So tomorrow, even whatever happens, tomorrow or end of tomorrow, it will be bulls in control. Any time you see this setup, this is called Hikinashi candle because it is not having any wick in the bottom side. Okay, and it is making a higher high today on 15 minutes. See, for the past these minutes, and we got an alert here. 
So if you are with our Robin Hood and you are using this indicator, definitely along with this uh, shared, okay, squeeze pro indicator, you will definitely either enter here or you will be, if you are a risk trader, very high risk trader like Mushi or Abdul, you can enter here, okay, at this bottom level. And uh, from here, you will be going all the way up to here. This is the level. You see the difference? The difference is almost, you can say, mm, let me draw a line here. This is the starting point. And here, this is the ending point. And let me share edit properties and uh, show the label always. Okay. This is the one. You see this label, this says within two days, it went up by almost 47 points. That means $2,000 profit. And at the same time, if you are in the wrong side, it might be going into your 2000 loss. Okay. This is how the five days, 15 minutes chart looks like overall. This will be fluctuating. Whenever we see the price crossing the moving averages, we enter. So this indicator is very powerful. You can use it. And uh, you see this purple, uh, this orange arrow. This is a squeeze pro indicator. Whenever you see this indicator and you see the squeeze here, yellow, blindly long. Okay. There is no exception for this rule. So let us assume you are blindly long on this and you might be exiting somewhere here after you seeing two or three green, uh, two or three red, red candles. Okay, this is showing you edit properties, show always label position on the middle and save as a default. And why do we need to have this one? We need to have this sand color, okay. So this is just a three hours trade. As soon as we got this indicator or here last five, five days, we'll be getting almost 28 points upside. Okay, we will be having a trailing stop order to as soon as we last five to six points, we will exit the trade. We will be exiting the trade here. See, I already draw a line long back. I draw this line on nine by 22. Okay, that means that two days ago, this is how I will be trading. Always have the lines, support lines or resistance lines. And along with this, okay, I'll be sharing you a few levels, okay? You go to here, um, this is the, okay, this is one thing I want to share to you. And where is that indicator? Okay, in our Discord, we already shared that um, screen. Maybe you can just check it. Mm, okay, let us discuss about this for a quick one minute, okay? This is the tech inflow since March 21st, okay? Whenever you see the tech inflow for a one week, okay? are one month negative, then you go blindly into long side, okay? This went for six weeks, six, four, 24, 20, almost from April to July. That means almost three months it went negative. Now you see the inflow, it is very high. That means billions of dollars are flowing into tech stocks. So soon you will see all the indicators will be turning into um, like moving, crossing the moving averages. If you are really looking, just check uh, can a stock called TECL, that is a 3X ETF, okay? This is a bull direction. So you go, go ahead and you see the technical indicators are bar chart opinion here. This bar chart opinion is, uh, free. Uh, this clearly shows how many indicators are bullish out of 13 indicators they are using it. They use, they are telling that 72% buy, that means out of 100 people who are trading, 100 people who are trading, 72, 72 people are bullish. Okay, only the trend spotter says sell. Soon it will also change it to, okay. It will also change into buy. But whatever it may be, if it is more than buy, you see this, last month it was 100% buy, this month 80% buy, okay. Yesterday it was 72% buy. That means overall it is a buy. Now let us go to strength and direction. What is the direction telling? 
direction is weak. Weak means when the market is weak, we are really long term, just to take the position at this support level, 62. You see the support levels, 62, 63, 64. These are the three levels where you can accumulate the stock. Okay, and this is all buy. For example, I will show you some stock which is always having 100% buy. That is, okay, this is one of the stock I always prefer. It always goes 100%. That means it has institutional investors blessings. Okay, for example, let us take our Baba. Um, how it looks like. 100% sell. That means everybody is agreeing. Okay, sell, sell, sell. So whenever you have 100% direction, then you have the kind of trend, strength, and price momentum. Let us move on to some other stock, PLTR, which I, I always trade every day. Okay, this is saying 72% buy. In a day, maximum the stock will move $1. If it completes its journey, 80 or $1, then you can short it or you can buy it. It's all up to you. Okay, this is the resistance. You see this from 28, it can go to 29. That's it. From 28, it can fall down to $1. $1 or maximum $1.5 is its ATR. How do you know the ATR? Go to Finwich. Free site again. Okay, type PLTR. Okay, hit enter. You will see the site. It is clearly telling you this ATR is coming almost 1.17 or something. 1.19 is the ATR. That means on an average typical day for the past 14 days, the average is it's moving 1.19. That means one hour, $1.20 it will move. If this stock is starting here on a particular day and it is moving all the way $1 by 10 o'clock, after 10 o'clock it will fall down or it, at least it will stagnate until unless someone like Kathy Wood comes and they will buy crazily. Okay, this is how ATR, for every stock you are trading, you should know the ATR. Last week I posted CRM. CRM ATR is around $4. It already completed its journey. Okay, oh, it is $6 because nowadays it's moving very fast. Okay, it is $6. So once it completed $6, okay, you close your position, so get out because it, it can't move 90% of the times. Okay, this is one thing I learned recently. Oh, now let us go to earnings. Okay, I'm closely watching the earnings of Micron. Okay, most probably you can buy the dip. Anything below 70, it's a deal. I, even I didn't check what is the price of the Micron here. Everybody is selling, but Alabama Retirement Fund, they purchased it. It says 88% sell. So. You can go to the support, okay? $71, okay? I'm sure even two days before earnings also, if it is not changing any of its trend, that means everybody shorted it. If it is in over, overbought or over short position, you just take a sell put anything below 20, 70 and take a position within one to two years, I'm expecting this to go $120. That means $5,000 if you buy 100 stocks. Okay, now let's move on to our features again back. And uh, this is the sector actually, in the, as part of the features, right? These are all the sectors that are divided and uh, you can see that how it is moving exactly. So this XLC communication sector is extremely bullish in the last one week, okay? Period, uh, one week, okay? Now, energy sector is extremely bullish and uh, financial sector and XLC, it is simply showing the strength because of the Facebook and it came down. Otherwise it is good, good communication stock is Google. Um, then, okay, so energy sector. So how will you trade energy sector? There is one ETF, that's ETF is ERX. Okay, why I am telling double ETF or triple ETF? Few people want less risk, okay? So the less risk means they can buy the stocks and they will get uh, returns like options. Okay, in, a, in one day, this ERX returns are very good actually. You go to 25, okay? The 25 is its price even uh, six months ago. It was 25. That means even if you are buying it today or if you bought six months back, you sold the call options, still it is 25. Now, where do you think it will go up? I'm expecting it to go up 
according to this resistance level, hit, hit the resistance level and come back 26. That means you can expect 5%, okay? 5% is one and a half dollar. Yeah, we are expecting 5% in a week or a couple of weeks maximum. How do you trade these kind of stocks? Buy the stocks, 100. Then sell a put, sell a call above once it reached to its one of its resistance points. By the time you are capturing all the premium for this week or for 15 days, you sell it, you just get out with 5% profit. So that is one thing we can trade. Now let us move on to sector performance. And we already completed the sector performance. Energy sector is a bullish. I always prefer taking second best sector in the market because it is having highest growth possibility. So XLF is one thing. If you really want to trade XLF, I will tell you one that is FAS. That is a ETF. You can type FAS, you will see that. That is 88% buy and the levels are here. 116 to 126. I am 100% sure even before last recession, I traded this at $100. So even if you invest in one year back or two years back, it is at the same price. You can check the charts, FAS. So buy calls or buy the stocks and trade between these ranges. This whole week, I am 100% sure this will be staying between these two levels. Most probably above. I am bullish, but I can expect a dip below 119. If it is a dip, it's a buy chance. Again, buy, again, buy. Just to see the magic and sell everything at 126. Get out. Okay, now let's move on to next thing. Sectors. Okay, this is what this is one point I want to cover you. This information is not available outside. This is only available in top charts. This is a sector rating, something like Investor Business Daily also has some sector performance. That means if you take the sector healthcare, MRNA is getting 99.9% .9 marks out of all other other peer stocks like BNTX 99.6. Okay, you can see the sector. Which sector is having more, more stocks representation? I am seeing technology sector and healthcare sector. So consumer discretionary AMC is there because for some wrong reason, I don't want you to trade AMC because I cannot guarantee you anything uh, about the performance and anybody can move it if a stock is less than $40. And the MongoDB is also technology sector bill. This is the sector for large cap stocks. Now let us move on to mid cap, mid -cap stocks, ASCAN. This is the stock. You can take a screenshot if you really like and you can just add them into your watch list. And out of all these, I will go here. I will simply I will simply pick a stock which is in 20s. Why? A stock in 20s can easily move one dollar. Okay, this is the skin. It is de uh, it is delisted from stock market for some time and it came back again and it is in 20s. And I was looking since it is 20s and 30s are good levels. Uh, stocks because so many small retail sectors also retail people who don't know anything they will start trading it okay and anyone can move it up okay this sector is anterior resources this is 17 you can trade it okay this is the one thing i can tell you now small cap sectors it's all up to you highly risk highly reward these are the stocks you can take a screenshot if you like and uh, these are the stocks and you see it is sorted by sector performance. That means if you take a sector, software sector, MRIN is one of the software sector it is showing. But I don't want to trade any stock that is less than 10 or 15. I will always pick 20s, 30s. So let us see which, which stock you familiar or you have a friend in, your, in that company. For example, I know this stock, PAVM. That is a famous one. That is in nine dollars. Still, this has strong fundamentals, so I can do it. And um, if you take any small sector stocks, it is highly fluctuating. And uh, I will strongly suggest you to trade semiconductor sectors here. Okay. Semiconductors, this is one. And only one stock represented from semiconductors. That means uh, rest of the stocks are in not performing well in the first hundred. 
So that means semiconductor stocks are not performing well at this moment because the MU earnings are there. If MU earnings are making a, giving a breakout for that MU, okay, then that MU will pull up all the stocks into the sector. Okay, how MU is performing? Very bad. It went to 96 and it came down all the way to 70. That's fine. Okay, is it accumulating by institutions or not? This is the red line is accumulation. Now, you need, I, I am asking you a question. You need to tell me, is this under accumulation or not? When the price is falling, nobody is accumulating. Okay, you see this? It is price is falling and whenever it is red line is going below accumulation and distribution on balance volume, then nobody is buying it. Everybody is selling it. So you see that almost accumulation, uh, almost sell off is over. Now it is consolidating for the past four weeks since August 15, it is not making a lower low. It is always going up. So I am expecting a breakout after the earnings and that too, this is a good stock to buy. But most of the institutions are selling it off. So we don't want to go against them. We just take like a put sell below 69. That is a good thing. If it is really coming down to 68, buy some stocks and keep some money for buying it again and again. And this PMO is moving up, but it is yet to cross. I'm expecting the earnings will provide a breakout because everybody knows chip sector is in crunch, uh, like chip sector shortage issue is happening. So this is done. MU is done. Now crypto. Okay. I am bullish on crypto. This is a very rare. I never say to trade any crypto, but I am bullish. Why? Because so many companies, so many countries are adapting and people who already exited Bitcoin when it was 50s, they are already going off. Now it is slowly, slowly, slowly covering it up. Bitcoin and I am bullish on doggy because uh, doggy coin range I know it is it is trading from 0.27 to 0.13 so in between these levels we accumulated the doggy coin and once the doggy coin accumulated you can simply use it uh, for the purpose how do I know the levels okay whenever I get a weekly chart here if I see anything below previous you see this 0.19, what is the previous level? 0.15. So I will be catching something at 0.15. Then again, if it is really falling down again further, okay, I'll, I'll catch it up a little bit below again. I don't mind catching it up until it comes to zero point something, anything. It, why I am telling you is, see the indicators. See, it is falling down. It's almost over falling and it is coming here means this is accumulation phase in the indicator. So it just started into accumulation. It is falling down. Anybody can buy anybody can buy in slow quantities at each level. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these are all the levels which I can tell you. Okay, now let us move on further. IPOs. Okay, this is one thing I want to tell you. I have one of my friend working in Freshworks. Okay. He said it is a great company. Okay. Even I attended for one of the interview. Okay. But I'm telling you again, IPOs are prone to fall down because people who accumulated it before the IPO, they will be selling it. Okay. Once the options created, then only trade it. Okay. We just go here. You just see this. And this is how you can trade a stock in five, five minutes chart. You go here, update. Yeah. So it started here, it went up all the way and it is crashing down. As long as it is zero, below zero, we never trade it. Okay. We just accumulate one stock, 10 stocks, 20 stocks like that and sell it off. So basically it is in sell off mode because of institutions and the big, big hedge funds they want to acquire. So they don't pay a hefty price like 46. Okay, they want the stock to be coming down like DD. You, everybody knows DD was $18, okay? A while ago, you, you can see it is as long as it is zero, no, no accumulation for the whole day. 
it is for the day trade okay if you are seeing the daily chart you will see it clearly it is falling down okay uh, let us go to four hour chart yeah do you see that pmo pmo started below so that means it is bearish when it when it cross here it is a little bit bullish after that it never come down never came out every every time it try to go up they are shorting it so that means we are expecting again it is to drop down further because on balance volume is very flat few people are accumulating and accumulate between $7 to $8 or keep money some money for $6 $1 also like neo it can come down any time okay this is the one stock i want to cover over now this is how you can do your research in td ameritrade website and uh, this is the research at td ameritrade then you go here then you go and do every every section you need to click on and uh, continue and sometimes you can see the reports okay and um, where is that mm -hmm. uh, I, i'll share you the link in the website okay the research okay in the research you can see what are the reporting agencies that are giving the see these are the different different reporting sites you don't need to go and take a membership on all these things if you have td ameritrade website okay you can simply log in and you can see that uh, investing investment reports let us close this off close okay bar chart features as i told you the features es is bullish so no need to tell anything as long as it is about 10 okay you go ahead and commodities okay oil is the commodity everybody is telling people are moving towards energy esg all the sectors but still oil has its own nobody can replace oil until 2050 so directly go and buy the oil whenever you see the dip but it is now at 75 it is a little bit hyped in a high price but you can just think like it is sideways or bullish so this is about the oil and uh, how you can see the chart is you go to the think or swim you type slash cl again go to 5 day 50 minutes chart you see the indicator if you, if you see that indicator this is the mox indicator okay whenever you see this okay don't trade any stock bearish in a uptrend market you see that this indicator is malfunctioning because somebody is trying to trick you to enter into this okay but always wait for bullish opportunities and if you got any bearish opportunity just try to use other indicators like rsi and everything see this this indicator is trying to show you that it is going to down but you see whenever i told you whenever you see this you need to accumulate this so this is one of the accumulation phase okay in a, in a and whenever you got this indicator or this you just buy one part one by two by every time you can buy it you can change it to one hour 20 day one hour also so that you can avoid unnecessary signals like 15 minutes okay you see this is accumulation phase and it accumulated after that it was 769 dollars it went to here 10 percent up if you buy one future contract you might be making thousand dollars for each point so six thousand dollars from here to here and this is the indicator shared by mushi you can contact mushi for that yeah with this i concluded my session for today Thank Do you have any doubts? Yep. Yep. Thank you, uh, Prabhakar. Let's uh, let's finish. We are almost there. Let's uh, finish it. Abdul, are you with us? I know I saw Abdul before. Prabhakar, if you can stop sharing for now. That's yeah. uh, uh, and anyone has uh, any anything else you guys want us and any sticker take a look at any questions but those who came in later on and today's uh, today we we have broken down the this format and we'll try to follow this format moving forward i wanted you guys also feedback 
we started with the market economy. We talked about uh, the things that you can look for outside that is looking at ticker and technical analysis. And then we talk on, on to the, dive into some of the stocks and options. We went to futures and he closed with uh, crypto. But one of the thing also in the crypto side, last week you may already uh, heard that China banned again more crypto, crypto industry and that pullback back crypto really, pull back crypto, but crypto is staying strong as you saw that you know, Prabhakar shared with you, the chart, chart looks is very strong. So, which is a good sign. However, there are more, more challenges in my crypto my space. Just be careful. I, I know the overall, yes, it, it does look like um, it has more growth, but it's very skeptical. If your crypto is very skeptical, very volatile, if you cannot afford to lose that much money, we do not recommend any, anyone go, get into crypto much. But I would like to want to let you know that you know us also is considering what to do with the whole crypto industry there's a digital currency is coming out or the the decision from fed is going to come very soon so on the crypto side crypto side you know europe is already doing a testing where digital currency is there in in europe market so anyone understand how that testing works I want to hear if anybody uh, has any understanding what in Europe, in digital currency, what's the concept? How, the, how is it working? No? Sorry, Mushi, what is your question? Question is in Europe, they are doing a digital currency, the the test uh, digital currency pilot program running. Anybody has any understanding? What is it? How does it work? Mm, no, I don't have any idea, but I know one thing, okay? Mm -hmm. um, Olympics, next Olympics are happening in Europe, in France. Mm -hmm. so because of that, most of the funds will be moving to Euro. So it is better to buy Euro, dollar, Euro versus dollar. Okay, for some yeah. time. You are a future guy, you are thinking on, on the whole future kind of forex counting <laughs> currency now. So on, on the crypto side, what I wanted to tell um, you guys is be aware of it. What it is at some point, they are looking to see if bank is going to go away. You know, in cryptocurrencies, they're saying, okay, you know, today's traditional bank is going to go away. You do not want to deal with it. You want to have digital and so on and so on. So there are people opposing it in the bank, you know, they just are, we are useless and so on. So in Europe market, what is doing ECB, in a way ECB is, doing a, is trying to see if they can be, they can be in the business of give, providing some of the services that bank does directly to, to the ECB. This is very challenging. The whole, the workforce and the way it's planning to do is, it, it will see what happens, but understand that when Fed, US government is going to come up with the, their digital currency, that at some point they will have to decide, do they want to leverage bank and then not to say that, okay, we are going to be have everyone in this country, 330 million people is going to have a bank account directly with federal. That's very challenging. So that's all something that in China doing, China digital currency is doing. So you guys, um, when you understand some of this stuff, then you're going to realize, is this really true that you want to be in the, in the business or is uh, if China, what they're doing, if it works out, that will make a huge difference, huge difference in China. Because, you know, that comes back what you just said, Prabhakar, that you know, Europe event is coming up and buy Euro and this. But you know, if China they, is, is converting the paper currency to digital currency and making sure everyone has the central bank, you know, just moving in the, okay, you don't have to do, you carry any more paper money. We are not printing paper money, but it's digital. That means Chinese central bank has, a, has account for all of their citizens, billions of citizens, right? So. That's, if that happened, they're going to try to push that in international market to, to see if dollar 
US dollar versus one, you know, if you do trade with China, that's all you do trade with our currency and hence in you know, the dollar, the market is, means uh, the one is considered as international currency, just like any others. So that, that will be a huge battle. And that, there is a lot of other things happening like this that you have to understand. And that's when US is taking their time to decide what direction they're going to be doing. At the same time, still world currency is US dollar. So if whatever direction they go that they do not, they do not say you know, crypto is not going away. At the same time, then see some of those banking and financial institution in the past 2008, they did not the value crypto. Now they started creating some products that around crypto. So it's good to learn it, but at the same time, don't put all your eggs in one basket. That's what I want to let you guys know on the crypto side. Okay. That's all. I think we covered yeah. everything we, we, we wanted. And, and I wanted to, um, you guys, folks, now I'm here for some, for, from some of the folks, what do you think? And some of the feedback you can give. I say most of you guys are here on the pay, uh, on our paid community, which is great. Uh, that's going to help. So how did you guys like that um, the format today? Oh, very good, uh, Mushi. Uh, compared to earlier, uh, we have a lot of information. Uh, very quickly, without wasting any time, uh, got a lot of information in the short period. I, I like it. Awesome. Thank you. This is very good, Mushi. Yes, this is change and this is good. And all uh, high level information is available and people have to uh, dig in more at uh, their own. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if anyone is trading crypto freshly and new to crypto, just start with 1% of your portfolio. Don't go over position size. That is my strong advice. Yeah, I'm, I'm continuing uh, what Mush is told. Okay, because so many fluctuations are happening and the volatility is very high. So you should be always on the sell side. And if you don't, if you know how to manage the risk, that will be very good. Awesome. Yeah, thank you. I see that some asked for NVIDIA and Qualcomm. All right, let me see what do we see NVIDIA and Qualcomm. Um, NVIDIA. And if you can just say, you know, are you looking short term and long term? But as, as far as what I see that NVIDIA is last last few days on the daily chart, it's, it, it came down on this for 200 area. You see that around 200, 205. Now it's, it's above 220. NVIDIA, it is, looks like it's uptrending. You can see the side, the chart says it's uptrending and on a weekly, on the weekly side, it came down. You see that on a weekly, it did came, came down around 205. Now slowly it's going to start staying above. And it looks 227 is, is one of the key areas that you know NVIDIA might be ready to, to go back up upside. So overall, NVIDIA does look like that is, is bullish this coming week. Okay. And Qualcomm, QCOM. Let's see, what do I think? Qualcomm does not look in the weekly. I guess it's down just like the others. Let's see on, on the daily side, what do we see on a weekly? Four hours, you know, on, on the way daily, you see that he is over sold area is on this side. When it comes down slowly, it's trying to come back up. And NVIDIA 133, wow, it's a 133. It did, uh, it's, this stock, I used to trade it, I moved on, it doesn't go, you know, whenever it comes, it does go 133, 30, 38, 40, it cannot get back above 145. You know, you see the 145 policy, when was that January? It's not getting back there. So it's hanging around 135, this range. So since I saw that it it's came down below 143.40, you see that when was that in April? Since April, it's barely getting that, that price. So I just dropped my money, put my money on someplace else. So if you are, you're thinking to play Qualcomm, then I would, I would just say, you know, see if you can free up the money as soon as it touch close to some of your buying price, put the money to work on some other, other uh, stocks. Thank you. Actually, mm -hmm. I have Qualcomm uh, RSUs. Uh, I missed it uh, not to sell. I did not sell. That's, that's okay. Yeah, sometimes, you know, you can uh, hoping and praying is going to be, uh, is going to come back to your buying price. 
but uh, you but by the time you're hoping and praying and you might want to consider going to others um, other other things yeah uh, how many of you guys joined this morning with abdul sessions california i missed it mushi i wake up late last one hour half an hour something i joined ah, i i see i see i i, I see that um, Oh, that was um, a wonderful session. Yes, um, you, I think uh, I will, what I will do, I will, uh, I'll share the recordings, mm -hmm. and, and then uh, your, uh, what is this, uh, recordings, and then you are going to be able to kind of watch them. It's very good. One of the thing what we did uh, this morning that you know our outcome of this Abdul last few weeks you know most of you know the people lost money abdul came up with the strategy that's uh, doing he's doing scalping i did along with him we made we both made money and then he said you know he was willing to prepare and share the content content even shared his settings and so on okay so well, i will share the recording uh, in there just give me some time that uh, today tomorrow uh, then watch the recording if you have not uh, have not joined. But the other the reason I asked for this, like today, out of that, that uh, the discussion, what happened, uh, we said we, we are starting tomorrow that uh, those Zero to Hero program and some of you already joined the program. And this is the, the sign up, the link that way I know many of you, some did some different way and that what we covered. But people asked me in private, uh, what's going to happen this this session? But starting tomorrow, we, we are doing this session so that you kind of have an understanding. I figured why not I just share with with others that way you know the format and what's going to happen. Mm -hmm. so, so people like Abdul and others that you know we have close friends. They are day trade. They are traders for short term, long term, and we, some of you already heard that uh, some of those uh, traders or investors from since 1975, 1976, they have been doing it. Some of the strategy worked for them and then they come and share with us and then you'll have, get to be, have more closer, ask questions with them in, 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 in a smaller format with one-on-one. -on -one. So this is the second time we are doing this program. Last time we have done this program for six months. So after doing the six months, we learned, you know, what are the things that we need to do? So this time, six months does not have to go. Six months, it can be cut down to three months. So it's a program is going to be starting to, from tomorrow. So tomorrow is a kickoff about what, what happened next three months. We're going to meet every Monday, 9 p.m. Every Monday, 9 p.m., so you see that in the phase one that here we are going to, you now it's, it's going to be a lot of hands-on, meaning I, there are so many things outside you can learn, but our goal and the feedback we got from our previous students and, and then they said, hey, you know, Mushi, it will be great if you guys involve us. So it's going to be a way that you see that we have hundreds of, hundreds of uh, hours of training sitting there, but you don't need to be expert in every single areas. For our goal is like when situation like this happens, you know, how do you adapt and still keep making money, right? So in in next uh, in the phase one, we're going to have people since it's called zero to hero, meaning people who doesn't have a foundation. Some of you have to do a little bit extra work, meaning we are going to point you watch this video, watch this video, watch video, and we'll get back together. We'll have like hands on that. That way you, we are not doing all the lectures. We are just going through some of the things so you know how to navigate some of the areas. Then when you're ready to start trading, you're making the right decision. So that's nine sessions or three months of session is going to be like this, like a lot of hands-on going back and forth you know, and doing the money, fundamental of the money, fundamental of the investment. And that we are not saying we are going to make anybody experts in options and in stuff. You may already know so many options, so many things. However, we had people even and today, I, I, after session, I had people private texted me and talked to them, Mushi, I know all of this, but nothing is really working for me. I'm not sure. So tell me what to do, I'll do it, right? So then I said, okay. So what our goal is, this program is going to get you at least to get there those those foundation but at the same time you will build your own you see that the bottom here phase two 
as you start doing it that your style is you're going to create your own style you cannot no one can be abdul no one can be mushi no one can be this because we all have our own style but one thing we all can do or we will do that last program we have done is some of them already started will create a checklist so every time when you go in a trade that you are going to maintain check this check this check this check this will guide you how to do this so then when you do this that when you start trading or, or investing, it doesn't become your emotion. It becomes, it's a business that you are following. So throughout this session that here, that you are going to learn, you are going to learn enough that you can execute. Because earlier this morning, I mentioned also to folks that we are not going to teach people how, how an engine works. We are not going to touch, you know, what what's the model of the engine and so on. If you want to do that, that's totally different. You can go ahead and, and figure it out. But here we are going to teach you how you invest with your money and stick, keep your money, keep growing. That way you are not losing. Okay. So that's what. And then there are a lot of scholars, you know, eyes out there. They shared in the in the past with us, you know, the lover and Naina and Prabhakar and Abdul. Hoss, all of them is going to come and, and sharing some of the things with the, with, with the based on the topics and in the past we approve, we kind of discuss among us, they'll come back. Now that our approach is a little bit different, you will have access to all stuff they taught before, but in the classroom, you will be able to come, hey, this is my style, I liked your this, now tell me more about it, right? So those kind of interaction you're going to have happen. So tomorrow, 9 p.m. is, is starting, and that's the, math, uh, the program structure. So the, the the reason I put the link in there, some of you already went to use another forum, but if you are not in a private group that I set up in WhatsApp, please text me and let me know, Mushi, I did it this day. So I will add you there. So all the discussion is still there, okay? That's what I wanna let you guys know. And I see that it's 10 of five. Abdul is not here. And anyone anyone has any, any questions or anything so far I covered? Yeah, someone asked about Q, Qualcomm. Mm -hmm. And uh, Qualcomm is a stock. You should never ever trade bearish because it is the only 5G stock or 6G stock that is advanced version. Okay, I can, I can share you about Qualcomm in one minute, okay? This is how the Qualcomm chart looks like for long term, three years trade. Okay, if you are buying this stock at this price, current market price, it will be like buying almost two years ago. And these are the levels you can see. That is the reason why I told whenever it comes in between anything, you sell the puts and take position. And the pain will be continuing between these two levels. If possible, it will come, but it is not going to be bankrupts, bankruptcy. In the whole one year, it will be very good. One year trend, see this? But you have, if you don't have this indicator, please let me know, I can share you this indicator. Uh, this is a shared by Mushi. Uh, and uh, 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 I will hear, Prabhakar, please understand this. And those, some of you already private texted me on this one. These are pre paid license that we got. So Prabhakar or some other, folks they are instructor with us helping mm -hmm. you to learn then when they do this we get some extra license we buy when we share so please understand this is not like you come share and, and give okay. it to you and then then i see private text to some of this you can buy you know the website the, the, that you know the john carter uh thing, yeah. john carter website all right yeah, maybe you can read it. It's, it's, it's a violation of the some of the license. You know, we do not want no, to. No, no, Mushi. No, this is not exactly what you shared. This is what I got from the public forum. Okay. See, these these are all different, but it, it is recorded and rewritten in that. So we can share it without any copyright violations. You see this? If you go inside this. No, okay? the, we don't see it. Your, your screen now, Prabhakar. I see some of the stuff, you know, when you see that uh, ST Pro, that's uh, the. Simple trading, simple trading website. Uh, that, that one we will not share to anyone yep. else. Yep. Okay, right. And we yep. we can share that uh, something like a. Yeah, we, we we created something similar to it. Let's do that, Prabhakar. Yeah. So you know, the, the, those who is already in a okay. private texture us, then we'll we'll share that in a 
in future, okay? Yeah, sure. So sure. that we don't get, get into in, in trouble. Yeah, All right. thank you. Thank you, everyone. And um, I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. Happy trading, everybody. Thank you. Moshe.